Yeah. I have some pretties to share with you. Are you ready to see them? I hope so, because I'm ready to share them. All right, first, we'll start with the biggest. We'll go bigger, smaller. Opposite of what I usually do. So, standard toolkit, as usual. Lots of beautiful drills in our awesome metallic packaging with all the information you need right there. This is really cute. I like this a lot. What don't I like, right? So here we have a cute little wreath that reminds me of my little bird wreaths that I made here. So we have all kinds of cute little birds on here. We have blue jays, or a blue jay, cardinals. We have, um, or that's a ribbon, sorry. Cardinals are over here. We have Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal. We have a robin. We have a little um, finch. And a black cat chickadee, which is my absolute favorite bird, besides a cardinal. So there you have it. And as you can see, it is very large. Why are you back? So this is a 50 by 50. And as you can see, it is very nice. Very, very nice. Extreme close up. We have 20 colors on this. 20 colors. We might as well look at them. They're all pretty standard, but I will show you just because this feels like a lot more than 20 colors. But it's five. This is a long package. There's five of each. Look at my good boy, Bubba. Thanks, your man. Say hi. That's so cute. Okay, if I can get into the package, we will look at the drills. So DMC codes are on the canvas and on the packaging. And these are round. And as you can see, we have a lot of the background color. So there are actually six bags. Woo! Too much crinkling, bub? Six bags of the background color, which is 3865, which is um, off-white color. <laughs> so here we have kind of a mossy green, coral, and a light peach. Dark green, two dark greens, stop. And peach. Burgundy, charcoal, and blue. Yellow, two grays, and a blue. Then we have kind of a mustard color and two kind of corally orangey colors. Then last of all, we have burgundy, black, and red. Not too much black in there. Where is the brown for the, oh, the wreath? I guess the wreath isn't brown. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm very happy. I like it. I like it a lot. Super cute. Alright, so let's fold these puppies back up. Oops, that's too much. Wait a minute. Can I count? I can't count. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, brain. Oi. I glitched. Oh, yeah. I've been having like mini seizures, like cluster seizures lately. I've always had them and I didn't realize what they were until recently. And I can't tell you how long it's been going on because they only happen when I'm in like the big stores. And I have learned from my doctor that it's the fluorescent lighting. Um, fluorescent lights have a constant flicker to them that you normally can't see, but your brain can register it. So I have noticed that when I'm in these big stores that sometimes my eyes will kind of like 
it's almost like glitching. It's like I try to focus on something and my eyes like jump. That's the way it feels. My eyes are doing like this. So I have had like five or six of those in the last month, I would say. And I have learned that they are a type of seizure. They're called mini malls, which is really stupid, but that's what they call them. So I can tell my brain is like extra tired. So this is how I felt when I was a kid. I had, um, if you haven't seen the video where I talked about this, I had childhood epilepsy where I would have like full on grand mal seizures periodically throughout my childhood into my early 20s. And um, I had been told that I had grown out of the full blown epilepsy, but my neurologist failed to tell me that I could have like these little like seizures for the rest of my life. So um, I have a very knowledgeable doctor and I hope I never lose her because she is awesome. But we finally, I finally talked to her about it uh, last week when I saw her and, or two weeks ago, I guess. But she's like, yeah, that's, that's a seizure. So now I have to be, now that I'm aware of what's happening um, and I've been paying, I've had so many close together, I can tell the, like before it, starts. So now I had to like leave the store and, but, um, what it does is it makes my brain like extra tired and I feel like extra heavy and it's hard for me to focus on things like small things like my diamond pins are, I'm pointing to my, <laughs> my desk, but it's, it makes it harder for me to focus on those, which I think is why it's taking me longer to do the sections which I talked about in the previous video. Um, but anyway, so I've been noticing like glitches and like more pauses lately, which is really annoying. So um, I am going to go see a new neurologist because my old neurologist is not on my current insurance. So anyway, if you notice me acting weird or if I like kind of like pause. That's what's going on. My brain is like <clears throat> all of a sudden. So anyway, moving on. Sorry for the tangent, but I feel like I need to explain because to me, I notice it because I'm like making myself pay more attention to it. So I don't know if it is noticeable to, um, other people. I hope it's not, but if it is, that's what's happening with me. And also that's why I haven't been online much. If you're on Facebook, I haven't been online much because it's hard for me to like focus on the screen. It makes my head, it doesn't really, well, I guess it does kind of cause a headache, but it kind of, it just feels heavy. That's the best way to describe it. My head just feels heavy and my eyes get like weird feeling. So I haven't been online much. That's why. Um, but yeah, anyway, moving on back to the point, get off the tangent. Um, the next toolkit came with little bags and the current, or the current, see? The standard toolkit and little bags. Sorry, I'm really trying, really, really trying. So this one is a little baby one, but again, it is the beautiful um, blue metallic, sorry. Oh, I was like, sorry, I did that upside down, but there's like a couple upside down and a couple right side up. So we have the beautiful blue metallic packaging with all the details on it, nice and clear. This is a little baby one compared to the first one, which is a 30 by 30, and I am in love. It's like my little bubba. Isn't that cute? This is so cute. Super cute. So lots of blues. I seem to be picking a lot of blue paintings lately. I don't know. I'm not really a blue person, but I've been picking a lot of blue paintings lately. I, I don't know. Maybe my brain is telling me something. Isn't that cute? I really like it. So this has 23 colors, 23 shades of blue. I really like it. So of course, you know, I'm going to have to do the moon in glow in the dark because oh, it's the moon. Hello. Um, we will skip going through these because they are all blue and white and a little bit of black and I'm sure some gray. Yep, some gray. Yep, there's your gray. But we will not go through 23 
colors of blue and gray. I will spare you that monotonous. Oh, look. Emily painted me a new painting. Isn't that cute? My daughter is so talented. I love it. So she just brought this in to me and said, here, this is for you. She showed it to me the other night when she finished it, and then she just brought it to me. So, where's the opening? This is the final attraction, and I saved, in my opinion, the most fun for last, because this is something I have not had yet, and I'm very excited. Oh, yay. I don't have to do the hard part. Okay, so I'm very excited about these. I am really loving the um, non-canvas type projects. So I have quite a few of those coming to share with you. So I hope you love them as much as I do. So it came with the standard toolkit. <clears throat> Rhinestones. And as you can see by the package, it is a tiny project. Um, next, I will show you the coolest part. Let's see. Oh, oh no. Hmm. Those are, these are cool. I have no idea. Oh, okay. This is a cool piece. I have never seen this kind of a piece in jewelry making before. It's like, I can't hold on to it. So it's a square, but it has a little ring at the end. And you can just thread it onto the jump ring, which I will not make you watch me do. So there's three of those. I know I'm dragging this out on purpose. There is a chain. Oh no, there's four of them. I'm gonna have to look at a picture to see how that goes together. So there's four of these really cool connector pieces. You have the chain, you have a gorgeous, look at that. Gorgeous, what is this called? Anyway, it's gorgeous. My brain won't tell me what it is. And then we have this really pretty string of really nice faceted stones. They're pretty. So they have a jump ring on each end. So I'm guessing that's what you do. You um, just kind of, it's more like a key ring than a jump ring. So you'll just kind of thread it around and attach it all together. And then this is our diamond painting piece. Isn't that pretty? Look at her. And it is two-sided. So this would be really pretty to hang from your windshield, your um, rear view mirror in your car. Although it might be too long. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, I'm guessing. See, I can't remember how it was put together. I'll be back in a minute. Hang on. I had to go get some hardware. Okay, so I figured out. I had to go back to the website and look. But I got it figured out. These little things are actually super cool. Let me hold them with the pliers so you can see without my giant fingers in the way. All right, so again, this shows you my brain's not really functioning. There is an opening right here. Let's see, there you can see it. So you just kind of, when you're opening um, anything like this, like jump rings, you always go back to front. Don't ever pull them apart. Just go back to front and then you can place them on your whatever you're doing so the chain goes on the top so I put the little square piece through the holes on the top and then here is what you hang it by and you can add um, this last one to the top if you need to I haven't decided how I'm gonna hang this yet so I'm just leaving it like this and then you put another one in the bottom hole and then you attach your beads and then you attach another one and then you attach your um, pendant, whatever this thing is called. But what I did instead of um, 
using the keychain thing, I just pulled apart the thing, opened it up, and then used my pliers to kind of pull apart this bottom piece and slip this in because I could not get the um, key ring, jump ring um, separated with my fingernails. So um, that was how I had to do that. So there is how it goes together. So these awesome square connectors are super, super cool. So there is our piece and it's going to be so pretty hanging. I might have to take, I have, I right now I have a dream catcher hanging from my ceiling fan. I might have to retire my dream catcher. I was, I originally was going to give this to my mom because my mom is a big hummingbird fan. I don't know. I might have to keep it for myself. It's pretty darn cute. And her ceilings are much lower than mine, so she would not be able to hang this from her ceiling fan because she and my dad would be knocking themselves unconscious with this very heavy. That's the last thing I need to be doing to my head. Anyway, so there is that. So let's take a look. I love... I'll be finishing this one today when I get done with this video. I'll tell you that right now. Actually, let me go ahead and put this final connector on top here just because I don't want to lose it. Come on, fingers. You have pliers sitting here, Margie. Use them. So I'll show you this a little bit on camera. So this chain has a normal jump ring. So you just attach your pliers and you do one hand towards you and one hand away from you and cannot see, it's too small. And then that just goes on the little loop end. And then when you put them back together, you kind of go a little bit past where they're connected and then they'll go back in place perfectly. Pink, stop eating plastic. Cat is chewing on a diamond painting right now. I have paintings laying on the floor flattening out that I've done videos on. Stop it! You are a bad kitty! And he literally had, like, was holding it to his mouth chewing on it. Psycho cat. Cats are so weird. Why are cats so weird? Anyway. Oh! Well, that wasn't very nice. I guess I didn't do a good job closing that jump ring. The chain just came right off. See, that's the that's the thing I hate about jump rings. If you don't get them closed just right, they'll open back up on you. All right, you don't need to watch me do that. So let's take a look and see what kind of colors we have. We just got done pouring here. A huge storm. Thankfully, that's the good thing about Florida is they move through pretty quick. It's very rare that we have a day where it rains constantly, unless we have a hurricane. Normally our storms, I mean, it'll look like the world is ending and it's gone in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Gotta love that. Okay, so we have... Blue, orange, well, I should say darker blue, orange, and lighter blue. Pink, green, and then we have the little baby teardrops in yellow and pink. And then we have a beautiful bright green and clear. So I will have to swap those clears out for sparklers because that's just me. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. So that is the video for today. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. If you're not a subscriber, I would love for you to be so you can get notifications of future videos because let me tell you, I have a lot of videos to show you or to share for with. I have a lot of projects to share with you. Now, 
Cannot tell you when my next paint with me will be because like I've said a couple of times recently, um, I haven't been working on that painting. I'm kind of mad at it because it's taken me too long. So um, just be on the lookout for more unboxings. Love you.